Okay, so to start with, I'm going to do something that I think will make this a little bit easier that you might not have caught. This is a 12, this is an 8, those are both the same, the same kinds of things. They're both a number of ones. Neither of them is x's or anything else that can be combined before we even start. So I'm going to multiply negative 4x by what, 4. Yeah. You could distribute the negative 4x to the 12 and to the negative 8, and you'll get the same answer, but it's a little more effort, I think. Negative 2x, negative 4x times 4 is negative 16x plus 22. Negative 2x minus 16x is negative 18x plus 22. Negative 2 makes 18x plus 22. Negative 18 Right. Next question. We're good? Yes. Yeah. No, Robert has a question. Robert, what's your question? Uh, do you mean number seven? Yes. Six times four minus x plus seven x plus fifteen. <laughs> You know, I hear people in this class complaining about, oh, this is difficult and I'm having trouble, and you gotta at some point accept responsibility for the fact that how the class behaves itself has an effect. Okay, so, I don't know. I don't know how many times I can say the same thing. Negative six times four, negative 24. Negative six times negative nine x is a positive. Negative times negative is positive. 54 x plus seven x plus 15. We have a couple x terms here. 54x plus 7x is 61x. Yes, and negative 24 plus 15 is a negative none. All done. All done. Like terms. Okay? Alright. 